Hi guys, Mrs. Davis here. So guess what? We are talking about a new artist. Her name is Yayoi Kusama, okay? And she is a polka dot artist. Woo, polka dots, polka dots. So what happens when you repeat a shape over and over again? What happens? Someone raise your hand. Oh yes, you are correct. I just had to pretend that someone was raising their hand. But the thing is, I know you know this answer because the answer is it creates a pattern, Miss Davis, a pattern, woo! And a pattern is a principle of art. So what's a principle of art? Well, we have the elements, okay? Without the elements, you don't have a good cake. And without the principles, you don't have detail. You don't have the pop, the eye-catching ooh when you look at a piece of artwork, okay? And we will talk more about that, but we know what pattern is, and we've seen patterns all over the place. If you notice, I added a little pattern of dots here, okay, to represent her, and then I did this other pattern that's kind of different. Do you see what I did there? So let me go closer. Here's what I did. So what I did was, this is her style. She does this really big one first, and then she'll do the next two, kind of medium, and then the next one gets smaller. And so she goes from a big one to a smaller, to medium ones, to small ones, tiny, tiny little ones. So she really plays with that. She plays with the dots. Um, let's look, I'm gonna show you. So. You're, out, you're gonna send me, but what's Davis? Well, what kind of dot artwork are we gonna do? Okay, get ready, get set, and ta-da! Okay, can you see it? It's, wait, let me go farther back. I know you can, probably can't see it, but this is one of her beautiful pieces of artwork that she does, and I just represented her style here. Now you notice the dots, they're kind of going all in the same direction, sort of. I mean, this one kind of goes up to go around the, the pumpkin. Um, but, and of course, the reason that she did pumpkins, I don't know, but there's some famous ones that she has done and they are amazing. They are like big, bigger than me. And you can walk around them like a sculpture. Let me show you another one. This one, I, I did it on this yellow construction paper and then I cut it out and I glued it on the purple because we've talked about how yellow is a complementary color to purple because they're crossed from each other on the color wheel. Okay. So here's another one. This one is simple. If you have any paper at home, boom, you can just do this one. And I didn't cut it out or anything, okay? And I did two of them. And the pattern is different. Did you notice? The patterns are different. They're not the same. Now, how are they the same? Well, they both have some smaller, medium to smaller dots. But this one has bigger dots in the middle. That's how they're different. Look at that. So this is what she did. She did these bigger ones in the middle and then she would do these medium ones on the end and then these baby ones going out here. They're so cool. All right, all right, all right. Now, I have one more. I really like this one. Are you ready? Boom, there we go. Now this one, I kind of, it's a little bit more random, but the big versus the medium, I kind of did that. There might be one, that one's kind of small, but most of them are about the same as far as the medium shaped ones. And what I did was I did it on the orange paper. I cut it out. Then I glued it onto the blue. And then I cut the edge of the blue when I glued that onto another piece of construction paper. So this is like three pieces of construction paper. All right. So this project, you can take this to whatever level you want. If you only have one piece of paper, then you just do what you can with the one piece of paper. But if you have two, if you have three, whatever you have, that's great. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna show you real quickly how to make the pumpkin. Something I will tell you about her is that um, she started painting when she was 10 years old, okay? She's from Japan. And then when she was 28, I think, she moved from Japan all the way over to the United States. And she came to New York City. She got to work with Georgia O'Keeffe she worked a little bit with, um, she got to talk to Andy Warhol and one of my other favorite sculptor artists is Klaus Oldenburg. And she really 
became a part of that movement right when they were doing pop art. And since we have been, we talked, we did pop art not too long ago, I thought it would be fun to do um, the dots with her. And because of the pumpkins, I mean, we can see the pumpkins in the store. So that's inspiring too, since it's this, the month of October, right? All right, so let's go. So when we start with the pumpkin, what we want to do is we want to do a middle shape right here, okay? I'm gonna get closer so you can see. All right, so we're going to just kind of go like a curve, come back around and curve back up. Watch that curving, make sure that those are curving, okay? Now the easy part, I can go from here and I can just curve, all right? I'm gonna do another one on the other side. I'm gonna make it go down a little more because pumpkins are kind of abstract with these little things, these curving things that you can feel on them. Okay, and then one more. All right, is it finished? No, you're right, it's not finished. Okay, we have to do the stem. So curve the stem and then curve, right? And then we're gonna just put an oval or an ellipse right in there, like that. Just go like that. Okay, and there you go. Now you have your big one. Um, if you want to do the smaller ones, okay, it's the same kind of a thing. Look at that. You just do them, but with this one I did one and then I did this one right behind it. And look, I messed up a little bit right in here. And that's okay. Remember what I talked about? It's okay if you mess up. You just keep going and you keep trying. Like I said, these you, the YouTube people, they love to make it look so good and you can see where they splice things together if they made a mistake. But honestly, mistakes are good. One of the things about Native American art that I love because I am part Native American is that, that means I'm part Indian, is that mistakes, they always did one mistake in their artwork. That was what they did. And do you know why they did that? Which I think this is a beautiful thing is that because they said that humans are not perfect. So in order for us to be representing ourselves and if, the, if this piece of artwork is going to represent us, we have to be who we are. So they always made sure to make one mistake in their artwork. And then I think specifically they were talking about weaving because they would weave beautiful blankets and things like that and um and and clothing and belts and and stuff so they would do that now my sister just on just because i'm going off on the tangent here but my sister she's been making these pencils and being native american she added a little bit of paint to this beautiful feather that i got her and then she made this for me she glued some beads on here she wrapped it with some green um Oh my gosh, what's it called? This is the green little tape that you get at the um, florist, floral tape. And then you can see where she put wire and put the beads on there and then wrapped it on there. Nice pencil. I have another one too, let me just show you. So being Native American is also something that I think about around October and November as well. Um, and she's got a little tree here, but this is different. She actually wrapped this and she actually made a little macrame in the weaving when she did this one. And this is totally something that my family, we're very um, artistic in a lot of ways. My brother paints, my mother paints a little bit, but my brother paints a lot all the time. And so, you know, mistakes are good, that is my point. And I know I've kind of went off a little bit on that, but it's true, they really are. They are part of us and we improve from them, okay? So have fun guys, have fun doing your um, pumpkins with the dots and remember, have the pattern, okay? Go back on the video and just look at the pattern and you can do one of her patterns that I did. I did three different kinds, Ooh, not six, three. <laughs> okay, bye.